and dangerous places on the planet. Earth's Natural Wonders continues tomorrow at 9 on BBC One. Hello, you're watching Afternoon Live. I'm Simon McCoy. Today at four, as 7,000 people cancel regular donations to Oxfam in just 10 days after allegations of sexual misconduct by staff, this from the charity's chief executive. I am sorry, we are sorry for the damage that Oxfam has done, both to the people of Haiti, but also to wider efforts for aid and development. Syrian government forces intensify their bombing of a rebel-held enclave near Damascus with 100 civilians, including up to 20 children, among those reported killed. A controversial report into how Royal Bank of Scotland allegedly mistreated small businesses is published by MPs. Brexit won't be a Mad Max-style dystopia, the Brexit Secretary's reassuring message to European business leaders. And coming up on Afternoon Live, we've got all the sport with John Watson and disappointment again for Elise. Yes, speed skater Elise Christie disqualified from her third and final uh, event out in Pyeongchang as another Winter Olympics ends in disappointment. John, thank you very much. And we'll also be getting a full weather update in half an hour's time from Susan Powell. Good afternoon. We have sunshine and temperatures in double figures for some of us this afternoon. I think we'll keep some of the bright weather on into next week, but this is what's coming our way in terms of the way things are going to feel. Some air from Siberia and a biting easterly wind. More in half an hour. Susan, also coming up this hour, six-year-old Alfie Dingley's MP calls on the government to change their stance on the use of medical cannabis oil to treat this boy's rare form of epilepsy. Hello everyone, this is Afternoon Live. I'm Simon McCoy. The chief executive of Oxfam has said...